about 30 years on this planet. I've been going to Comic Cons for 50 years. And anyway, you have to travel to go to any of them, you know, two, three hour drive. So a friend of mine, he and I were sitting around talking and we were just saying, you know, wonder what it would take to start a con. As soon as we were done with that conversation, I emailed the Expo Center and just got it rolling back in 2018. Just people appreciating being able to celebrate the geek culture in their hometown or within a really quick drive. We get people from West Virginia, Virginia coming to Tennessee. I've got people that's come up from Georgia. That's what I love. And then hearing the stories of the kids who like seeing adults enjoying the same thing they do and that giving them a little bit more confidence liking what they like and not feeling like an outcast. I'm happy that it's a popular thing now because when I used to go to Comic Cons when I was younger, it was a very small crowd. It was a different world back then, but now it's mainstream, so that's actually pretty neat to see. And I wanted to do something artistic and maybe have my own booth. And so I kind of looked around and I decided to start cross-stitching uh, pop culture stuff. So, because I didn't really see a lot of that. I just saw, you know, mostly drawings, paintings, that kind of thing. Um, and so I started cross-stitching, but I didn't want to do it by myself. So I uh, wrote my mom into coming with me and she started making superhero and villain dolls. Um, and we've just kind of expanded from there. We've added a few things over the years. I think we've done it for about six years now. I really love how friendly everybody is and how excited everybody is to be able to share their interests and like people will come up to you and share things that they like to make or collect or whatever and honestly it's just the friendliness and it's just it feels like you're at home like everybody just kind of talks to each other and shares like tips and tricks of like costuming and and I've gotten ideas for stuff to make while I'm here and it's just a really all-around good experience it's not like some other maybe events that you would go to concerts and stuff that you might not get that same experience. My cross stitch stuff, the bigger pieces can take anywhere from a couple weeks on a piece to I've got one that took me about three or four months to make. Um, the little or like the smaller things, they are, you know, maybe a couple days. I'm going to try to start adding like dice, um, resin work and things like that into it. I just haven't quite made it that far yet, but um, so I usually take what I see here and try to like put my own twist to it um, but it's primarily we stick to like our primary thing which is like thread work which you don't really see like thread art a whole lot it's just something fun that we love to do uh, the family it, all of us love to do it it's just we've always done it I don't really have any explanation it's just been fun to come and dress up and just have fun I love talking to the other cosplayers and just people I just love to the work that we do, like the, because we, we take a long time making these things, and um, it's just good to have people to appreciate what we do, and, like, mm -hmm. and just to talk to other people that do it too, and see what they went through to make it, and it's just the journey that they took to make it. It's just fun. It's really, I've done it by, before by myself, but once my children are old enough and they had an interest in it. Mm -hmm. I brought them over to, to, to see if they liked doing it, and they they had a blast. All the people were, were really nice and friendly, and everyone just welcomed up with open arms. And uh, it's just been just a great time to, to get together. It took about two months to do it all. Uh, a month for theirs and a month for mine. And I actually, right up to this hour, I made the last part <laughs> before I got here. So, I mean, it's a, it's a good way to get out of your comfort zone and just to, like, if you're shy or anything, just to, to give it a whirl. Try it. You know, you don't have to do something big like this, but just try baby steps into it. And it really builds up your confidence. I come to them all the time. It's, if they're local, sometimes I'll go far out, but it's pretty fun. I love going to them. I like seeing different cosplays, people, and I get to buy stuff and just good, good times. It just seemed like a fun and easy cosplay I could do. I could make a big sword and wear a big head. The head was the most complicated because I originally did the one from two and then I was like, eh, and then I just did that one. Definitely start out with easier stuff. It's not pricey at all. I made the head out of cardboard and this just out of foam.